So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to mix up nutrients for your hydroponic uh, plants that you can grow indoors. And if you've been thinking about doing hydroponics but finding yourself a little intimidated or overwhelmed by all the information that you may be reading on uh, the internet or watching YouTube videos, when they start talking about you know measuring pH and adjusting your PPMs and your TDSs all of that can be a little bit daunting and confusing and you really don't need to understand it to grow food indoors my video today I'm going to walk you through setting up a container to start some lettuce indoors and we're going to be using these maybe adjusting the pH mixing up nutrients and I will show you how you can grow beautiful lettuce just like this without having to have any kind of a university degree or education so let's get started so the first thing I want to talk about is what kind of water you should be using for your plants in water that has nutrients in it. There's no pumps, there's no special equipment other than just setting up your nutrients in a container, putting your plants in there and letting them grow from there. So I just use tap water. We have treated well, um, we have treated city water here and if you use well water, that should be fine. I would say any kind of potable water that you drink yourself should be okay for your plants. So we will just adjust the pH accordingly once we get to that point. So you can use bottled water if you so choose, but it is quite expensive because you can go through quite a bit. So try your tap water first. I always let it sit for at least 24 hours after I filled a large container or two and just leave it sitting in my shower where I do my filling. Uh, let it sit for, like I say, for at least 24 hours, let the chlorine or whatever type of um, treatment that might be in there settle. So I like to use Root Farm. It's got a two-part formula here. You have the base and then this is just an all-purpose which works really well for lettuce. And to start off, when your plants are just little seedlings, you usually go with the weakest um, measurement that you will find on the back of your container. It's usually called the seedling stage. So we are going to add the nutrients here based on a four liter measurement. And then from there, we will check the EC level and the pH level and decide if we need to add a little bit more water or adjust the pH. So I have pre-measured this water in here already and I have eight liters. So I'm just going to double up the amount on the back here because it is a measurement based on four liters. That's why I usually like to mix up my nutrients in these four liter containers if I'm going to be you know, setting up something a little bit smaller. You can use a four liter jug like this as well. Mix it up, dump it into your container. So this cap works out to actually be five milliliters. So I will just be using that for my measurements. I usually stir in between the two nutrients. I don't worry about letting it sit that long. I just keep going. So there's not a whole lot of nutrients going into the first round here for your seedlings. So after a bit of Googling, I've come up with a list based on the kind of vegetables that I grow downstairs here. So with lettuce, I have found that the EC level should be somewhere between 1.2 to 1.8. What is EC? Who cares? Just as long as we can get it to these numbers. That's, that's all we need to do. So when you have one of these TDS and EC meters, there is um, two different ways you can measure. There's a PPM and then there's the EC. Again, I'm not gonna go into what they stand for and what they mean, because I'll just put you guys to sleep. So I always use an EC 
uh, measurement because I find that it is the more accurate one according to you know what I've learned uh, reading on the internet. So on this device here, I just switch it so that it's going to take an EC reading, put it in the water, and it gives you pretty much an immediate reading. Um, it's a four digit number that comes out here, 2116, and I just round those to 2.1. And according to my lettuce EC level here, it's a little bit high. So what do you need to do if it's too high? Just add a little bit of water. So I just pour some in, take the lid off, pour some in, give it a bit of a stir, take another reading. It has dropped down just slightly, it's still at 2.100 a little bit high. You don't want your uh, nutrients super strong for your seedlings. It, it's okay if it's quite diluted. And I want the roots to be able to reach this water, so adding, you know, raising the level here is going to be good. So now the level has dropped down to 1796, so that is about 1.8. So according to my chart, we're right on par for where we should be for lettuce to start with. Like I said, when they're seedlings, it, it doesn't uh, hurt to have it more diluted. So we can add a bit more water and bring that EC level down just a little bit more. So once you're happy with that EC level, then it's time to check the pH. And these meters are quite easy. You just turn them on and stick them in the water. The, uh, the reading for a pH takes a little bit longer. They say about 30 seconds. You should leave it in there to get a true reading. So the pH off for me is coming out at 6.79. So it's actually pretty much right where we want it to be for lettuce. It's just about at that 7.0. So I just wanna show you if it was a little bit high, like we can bring it down just a little bit or if it ends up you know being more than seven so because the ph is a little bit high we want to bring the ph level down so we just take the one here with the down arrow the acid base and we're going to add a few drops of that to this water now this uh, thing here measures in um, milliliters i'm going to just add two milliliters to start. Again, I don't really worry about how much, but you don't need to put a whole lot in. So it's something you wanna just try, test your pH and see where it goes from there. So we do have quite a bit of water here. So I'm gonna put the full two milliliters in here. So adding that pH down has now adjusted my, my pH level to about 6.02. So we're still in that good range. And I think we are ready now to put our plants in here. It doesn't happen very often with my water that my pH level is low, but you would just do the same thing if your reading came out uh, below that, that range that you need to be in. You would simply go to the pH up and put a few drops into your water, give it a test and get it to that level that you want. So today I am planting up some arugula and a sage. I did have four arugulas going, but one of them died. These I planted a few weeks ago and I'm trying to get a nice root base on them so that the roots will reach the nutrient water now. So these have only been um, watered with just plain water and now that they are got a nice strong root I'll be putting them into the nutrients and they will really start taking. I just wanted to add in here that if it turns out that your EC level turns out to be lower than the range that you are wanting to get it towards then to remedy that you just simply add some free mix nutrients into your container check the EC level until it reaches the range that you want it to be. 
So then we're going to try testing the pH. Now that we've got that EC where we want it, I'm going to stick in my pH meter. According to my cheat card, we want the pH somewhere in the 5 to 5.5 range. So if you can see here, it is reading at 6.56. So it's a little bit high. So that's when I'm going to look to my pH is here, and this is the pH down. And you do not need to add very much to make a difference. Again, I don't worry about measuring or keeping track of how much I put in because I would never keep accurate records if I did it that way. So I usually just take the eyedropper, start off with just a milliliter, measured up in this stick here. It's not a very big container of water, so I don't want to put too much in. Give it a stir. 5.9. So we're very close to that 5.5. So I maybe will just try putting in another small drop. Two. Okay, so we were wanting to get in between 5 and 5.5. So it looks like I've got it down below that 5.5 now. So I'm happy with that. But it is kind of a fun thing to do with your plants every day or two and see if it does make a difference. So after adjusting the pH, I just double checked my EC again, and it seems to be good still. It's around 2.1. This should be a happy cucumber. His roots sure look happy. So I just want to show you what I'm talking about when you put your plants back into the water here. You want to make sure when it's fully submersed into here that you still have some air space for these air roots to breathe. You don't want to have the water so deep that it's going to drown them. So just keep that in mind when you have to add water. That maybe once you get it to the EC level that you need it to be, then you may have to remove some of the water. So I hope that you found this video helpful. And if you are thinking about trying indoor growing using the hydroponic method, um, I hope that I have taken away some of the fears and some of the, uh, the questions that you may have of how it all works and how to mix up your nutrients and keep your plants happy and healthy. If you want to learn more about growing food hydroponically using the crack key method, I have a whole bunch of videos. I will link the playlist at the end here. So I hope you will check out my other videos and give hydroponic growing a try.